This is the Florence from Sandberg Guitars and Basses. And y'all, whoo, this is one hell of a short scale bass. While it might be a small instrument, the fat and humongous tones inside of it ensure that it's not just a one trick pony. And it is one hell of a workhorse of an instrument with impeccable feel, tone, and playability all around. So I am incredibly excited about this bass today. And while I've only had a few days to really get to know it, it has completely blown me away in so many regards. And I have to say that this might be the best short scale bass I've ever played. And it just feels, sounds, and plays absolutely amazing. So if you don't know, Sandberg is a German guitar and bass manufacturer that makes some absolutely impeccable instruments. While I haven't had a lot of time to really go into Sandbergs before, I have had some great time playing them both at NAMM and my few times going to Tomon as well. And they have always just been such a joy to play. But before we dig into the Florence bass and for the sake of transparency, this video is sponsored by Sandberg. But of course, as with any sponsored content on my channel that has absolutely no effect on what I say, what I think, what I play, or any of the sounds in this video either. They don't get a copy of the video beforehand. What they see is what they get, just like you guys here on YouTube. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So starting with this beautiful alder body, I absolutely love the double cut styling of this bass. This is based on their Florence guitar, but there are a few differences with it, such as the really awesome cut that's right there on the lower horn that makes upper fret access super easy, as well as it just looks incredible as a bass in my opinion. This bass really does have just such a simple but very bold and stellar aesthetic to me personally. Again, you have this alder body and the finish on this is a British racing green that just looks so good in my opinion. I think the green really complements this shape very well and the actual finish itself has some sparkle in it that looks really awesome to me. You have aged nickel hardware throughout the body including their very own design and manufactured bridge, knobs, and tuners as well. For the electronics, it's very straightforward and simple, but there is a small little surprise in there too. The pickup is a Sandberg 48 humbucker that comes from their 48 line of basses. I mean, which look fantastic in my opinion too. And then on top of that, your controls are just simply volume and tone, but there's a little something special in there. The tone pot is a little different. It's a push pull that has a special capacitor that lets you change between the tones of a P bass sort of style to a mud bucker. And it's just really cool to be able to turn that tone down, whether it's at 100, whether it's at 50 or at zero, and then pull that knob and just feel and hear such a difference. It is so fun and so cool to me that it's a simple configuration of two knobs, one pickup, but multiple sounds and anything that you can blend in between that P bass and mud bucker tone.
Moving up, you have a very thin and extremely comfortable maple neck that has a rosewood fretboard and 20 frets as well. The neck itself has a satin finish that just feels extremely smooth and is super easy to glide up and down that fretboard as fast as possible. And of course, again, as I mentioned earlier, there's that cutaway on the lower horn that makes it super easy to access those upper frets. Even for someone like me that has, I guess, bigger hands, it's extremely easy to go ahead and reach all the way up that fretboard in a pinch. Moving up to the extremely good looking headstock, at least in my opinion, you have Sandberg's own designed and manufactured lightweight tuners that help ensure that there is no neck dive with this instrument. So for the pros on the Florence bass, I honestly have to say pretty much everything. <laughs> I love the styling of it, the actual weight balance, everything about it works so well. Everything from the body style, everything to the neck just feels so good and very flat too. I love the neck. Also the electronics on top of that, where the pickup is placed directly in the middle of the body really lends well to that split coil and mud bucker sound and being able to go in between those using that special tone knob that has that push pull function. As for cons, I honestly can't think of anything personally. I think in terms of cons, you're just gonna get something that's subjective from anyone that's playing this bass. Maybe they want it to be a little more this way, maybe they want it to be a little more that way. For the Sandberg Florence, this is just such an incredibly well balanced, well thought out bass that I think Mark and the Sandberg team, as well as Gregor from Bass the World, they designed this bass and they did such an incredible job in my opinion. It's gonna be really hard for me to give this one back and it's really sad that I can't keep it, especially because I really love the green color. Just again, the playability, the feel, the tones, everything about this bass is so exquisite and I really enjoyed my time with it. But of course, let me know what you guys think about the Florence bass and really what awesome Sandberg basses are you looking forward to in the future? Thank y'all so much for watching as always. Of course, thank you for watching, commenting, sharing, following me on social media, all that crazy stuff. I truly do appreciate it y'all. And of course, a humongous thank you to my Patreon supporters right over here and over here. Mwah, mwah. If you wanna be like one of these gorgeous people right here and help support the channel every single month, then go ahead and head on over to my Patreon page. But again, thank y'all so much as always. And of course, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass. Go ahead and try a short scale bass if you haven't already. They are so much fun and I cannot recommend them enough. And I'll see y'all next time.